going anywhere. Okay, Ooh, we get Chris Flood. Cat you finds it under Raven. What is this? I came here to be tested. That's actually really good for Typhoon. Everything is is good in that, right, guys? It should all be fine. I mean, you are you are my display alignment. Oh, I see what you mean. Come on, transform. There, that should be good. Dyer have fortified their towers. I mean, it's said in an insulting manner, which makes it an insult. That's kind of how insults work. Ow. God damn it, Max, you've made you freak me out. <laughs> Everything can be insults. It's the way the English language works. That's why calling people walnuts is my favorite insult. That you, jumping forward, gets this telekinesis. Raven, will this land? Nope, Shadow Poison doesn't quite land, which means I think Cat Yu is gonna be able to get out of this. They'd need at least one more. Two more, even. Uh, sure. Just because I'm saying let's just stop talking in circles. Right. So how are these... The lanes are going... Like, Typhoon are... Smashing their lanes. Every single lane is winning, and uh, as some people be. Yeah. yeah. Let's just. Let's just stop feeding the trolls, guys. Uh. 400 shovels. What level is Mushi's? Cat you? He should be able to win this. He's got a little bit of movement speed. The brown boots advantage allows Cat you to snag up both of those bounty rings. Forward, Mushi is he should, he's in a bit of trouble here. Blank's gonna jump forward. He's gonna be able to get this kill with that spark remnant. <laughs> nice deny. I like that the at least he denies off that arcane rune. Because that would have been really good. It possibly would have allowed the Storm Spirit to go for another kill, like right after that, but heads up play there from Mushi means that even though he dies, kinda saves the rest of his team. I've got the Sven Midas. Where is Sven? Sven, he does have a Midas. He straight up rushed this Midas, too. First item Midas. Actually, that's a six minute Midas! Oh! He got that thing quick!
got strength. Nothing interesting happening there though. Just gonna use it to farm up the wave. Velo creep skipping. This is 2k gold lead for Typhoon right now. How is nothing to say doing? 41 and 11. So he has recovered. I, he has no kills though. So I'm like blank who I believe has two. Just one. Just that one kill on Demushi. Yeah, I mean... Right? Who is it? It's Jenkins? No, not Jenkins. Trent? Oh, Zephyr. Stampede actually gonna be able to get Zephyr out of there, but they have used the Primal Split. Zip forward. Zephyr, he doesn't have anything left, but the Astro Imprisonment going to buy him a couple left seconds of precious life. He does go down. They get the stun onto nothing to say. He's not gonna be able to find any return kills. So it's a two for nothing right now. Blank is out of mana. But Mushi is almost out of life. Mushi, he's got a death. Zephyr coming back into this fight. Finds blank. Do they have anything to help here? Morphling zips forward. He's got adaptive strike. Uh, <laughs> everyone press F. F. F for, uh, F for respects for blank as, uh, Blanks is... Uh, let's do some quick calculations here. 1.5 times 107. He does have a magic wand. This should be a kill, though. It should be like what a hundred and hundred and sixty some damage, and then right clicks. Mushi or Blink's dead. Yeah, one sixty point five. Yeah. What do you think is going through Blank's head right now? Is his life flashing before his eyes? Let's actually look at some other items. Velo rushed to Vanguard. Oh wait, we've got the reconnection. Can Blank survive? Zip. Nope. got the kill. Raven did get the kill. Yes. Don't feed the trolls, guys. Dyer's middle tower is being attacked. <sighs> music is really annoying when casting. This is in-game music, friendly atheist. So, so what was happening is that's the music that plays after someone gets a killing streak, and they paused, so the music just kept going. Lucy TPing up top. Velo might be in a little bit of trouble. He doesn't have Stampede for another five seconds. Faith almost gets evaporated there, Will Fonte on the chase. He doesn't have a stun, but he might not need it. Velo, he's got the stampede up. He's gonna run away into the trees. Fonte has Stormhammer if he can get the vision. Mushi looks like he's gonna be the one that ends up tanking the death for the team, but Velo able to escape by the hair on his chinny chin chin. That's true. We are here for Dota, not politics. Yeah, last one in, guys. Just stop it. Remember when Mushi was a core? Radiance top tower is under siege. Dyer's middle tower taking damage.
Mushi, Mushi has actually done pretty well on this Shadow Demon. We look at the net worth and it's it's the other way. It's not quite as bad as last game was. We're only at a 3k gold lead. But... Deny? Cat you gets the deny. He's not level 6 yet so can't steal that Astral Imprisonment. He's going Echo Saber as his first actual item. Mushi. Look at Mushi's net worth. 919 net worth. Because he's got a magic stick. But this is not 900 net worth. Ah, Tome of Knowledge counts. His net worth is going to plummet once he uses that. It's level 3. Okay, oh, that was a beautiful stun there. Maybe they have the damage, Astral Imprisonment, or Astral Sanities. I think he is dead, he is. Kicks the bucket one more time, but at the same time, Velo does die in the top lane to Guvara, uh, Guvara, who is this one? Fonte and Katyu. Radiant's top tower is under siege. Dyer's bottom tower under fire. Radiant's top tower is being attacked. Dyer's middle tower taking damage. Zap! Divine Typhoon with Sanity's down, I force a fight. Yeah, Sanity's Eclipse is like really big linchpin to their fights right now. But at the same time, it's actually hard to force a fight right now because Velo still has Stampede. So like even if you try to force a fight, they can just Stampede out of it. Okay, center. Uh, I like that face center kind of makes sense this game. You get the armor. I mean, what would you rather see, right? Would you rather him build, like, power traps? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think, and the thing with treads is the treads would only really benefit his retaliate a little tiny bit. Oh, wait, no, that's right. Until he gets eggs. Oh, that's right. They changed it. So, Treads would benefit, benefit Stampede a tiny, tiny bit, but I like the armor, the, the damage, and also, he's dead. Stolen Stampede. Oh, the hoof stomp, fellow. Stampede, but there is the nightmare. I'm kind of surprised he didn't instant Stampede when that uh, hoof stomp hit Faith. But... He does get killed off. This is my favorite color in Dota. The color of Rubik's Arcana when he, like, steals uh, a centaur spell. I don't know why. I just love it. Tranks are kind of crap right now. This is the thing. He used to. He used to, but then Tranks changed. God, Fonte. 8,000 net worth. 14 minutes into the game. But we do see that it's no longer the top three net worths belong to Typhoon. Uh, Raven, Raven and Nothing to Say are actually catching up quite admirably. What is Raven building? Oh, well, 
Zephyr, nice. Impale, spike therapist, buy him a little bit of time, however, nothing to say. In a just a little bit of trouble. Isn't gonna be using that sanity's eclipse. He knows that it won't do anywhere near enough to bring anybody down. But the rest of his team is able to ex successfully extract themselves from the situation. Dude, the, the rolling thunder cube is so fun. Oh, Zep is dead. Dominated. Nice kill, and actually they're gonna go up. They don't want to trade towers. They want to defend this. They're gonna... Whoa. Ow. Mushi, he got, um... I always forget the Demonic Purge actually does damage, because it never really feels like it does. But was enough damage to kill off Mushi in the end there. IG versus C deck? I'd go up C deck. I think IG are not the strongest of at drafting in the scene right now, and I think C deck can outdraft them. Dial's bottom tower is in pieces. Radiance middle tower is taking damage. So not really much going on here. It's just a stomp. Four thousand gold lead for Typhoon. As uh Well it's not a stomp. What am I saying? My brain has stopped working guys. I have been far too busy the last like three weeks. Smoke up from Geek Fam. Who are they going to be able to find the blink forward? There's the banishment. Is it going to be enough? Faith, he is here, but the Sanity's Eclipse, it's not enough to bring down that Storm Spirit. But he is out of mana. He has to get out of there. The stolen uh, Astral Imprisonment means Faith is able to stay alive for a little bit longer. And now Zephyr, he's going to be chased down. They have the vision. They have the kill. And now Velo, he's being chased. He's under the tower. He's pretty healthy. Primal Split is about to end, now Guevara being hit by the tower, but with that war cry, he's not going to take any damage in Velo. He's able to get out. TP's home. They just, they juke when they should have died. Jive. Sven's not even going for BKB. Oh wait, is he done with BKB? Good god, this Sven is fine. Is that his full BKB? <laughs> yeah, Vlad's BKB, there's two Midas running and they're this far ahead even with those. Uh, Spirit Vessel is almost done for Cat U as well. And Spirit Vessel just kind of wrecks Morphling. Well, Velo's almost done with the Blink Dagger. With the two Blink Daggers, maybe they can get some kills. But Typhoon have just been so good at staying, uh, staying grouped up. Like, there's no real opportunity for just uh, a sudden solo kill. Every time they try to engage onto somebody, uh, the rest of Typhoon is suddenly there in their faces, ready to fight. Well, Mookie is gonna die. Raven is able to get the waveform out of there. Uh, unless Faith? If Faith had caught any vision of him, I think that's probably where they would have gone. Fonte. 
He used God Strength. He's like, I may as well take a tower, guys. Okay, BKB being forced out by Raven with the stolen Stormhammer. But Guvara, Faith, and Cat Yu. This is like a roving death squad as they find Zephyr yet again. How many deaths is that for this Nyx? Five deaths on this Nyx assassin. He has not had the impact that he would like. He is building a BKB now. I think he got the Blink Dagger because, like I said, they wanted to be able to jump on someone, start the fight out, like, jump on someone, just immediately kill them and start a, a 4v5 fight. But Typhoon's positioning has just been way too good this game. Yeah, I think he realizes he'd rather the Hex, but they are not going to have time for him to farm up a Hex. Okay, jump forward, blink, double hoof stomp. This is what I'm talking about. They are, ooh, the Astral is, is going to be able to save Sven here. He does end up going down though. One more right click and now they're chasing Guvara. They've got it. You can't, if they kill the Earth Panda, they know this. They're leaving the Earth Panda alive. That is where Guvara is going to jump back in. Little bit of a missed time there, but nice attempt. Guvara with the Drunken Brawler running away. Raven jumps forward, another blink hook stomp. And that is exactly why they wanted that blink dagger on Velo. Jumps in, gets the two-man hoof stomp into just the AOE damage from the OD that allows them to literally remove two people from that fight. Sven just never had a chance. I think that I think I think this blink on Velo was exactly what they needed. What does he have queued up now? Crimson Guard and a magic wand. 23 minute magic wand. It's okay. Them blue pills that make us can't spell. God. I know I personally took the pink pill. And that just makes me not able to talk sometimes. Actually, no, what the pink pill does is it makes me forget to turn on my microphone every goddamn stream. I feel like it is. English is weird like that, where anything can be a word. Like Garuns. Garuns are great beans. That, that turn uh, verbs into nouns. Is this game too? Yes, it is, Weasel. So, Roche is going to drop pretty quickly, but they're taking out Faith, and that's a big part of their save. He buys back. Roche is dropping very low. Stormhammer comes out onto Velo. Velo, one more right click, but the disruption is there to save him. They do get the Aegis onto the Storm Spirit, and now Raven might be in a bit of trouble. He does have a transformation waveform, but the uh, the Fiend's Grip from Faith coming out gets them the kill onto Raven. Blank wants to, check to pressure this forward. Zephyr dies to Fonte, but Blank's out of mana, and so he can't quite get close the distance. Those were great words. That was such a great cast on that team fight, guys. I did such an amazing job right there. I'm being sarcastic. Is there any possibility for Geek Fam? Yes, there is. Uh, they need the smokes. Well, they need to not be in vision. Uh, 
They need to basically find Sven. They need to get the instant disable onto Sven, and then just use nothing to say to absolutely destroy him. What is the Dota Plus Pops probability? Let's find out. Mushi is going to be able to save Raven there. At the cost of his own life, of course. The true position 5. Oh, I, I know. Usually, usually I do fine. It was just that one, that one team fight. There is no, there's no arguing about it. That was just a hot mess. <laughs> I'm, c I'm confident enough in myself that I can also be self-critical. No more middle tower for Radiant. Uh, yeah. So the plus, what do you guys do you think? Max Power's got 81. I'm going... I don't even think it's that set. I'm going to go like 75. I'll go 75 in favor of Typhoon. At least it was still hot. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's check. Ah, seventy-seven. Yes, we were we were close to super close. Uh, and Bella's dead, by the way. Fiend's grip comes out. Uh, Mushi. No disruption. That's unfortunate. No disruption to save Velo's life there, as they had already used it to make some uh, centaur illusions to push the lane in, and they just get punished for it. I mean, I know what they wanted to do. 17,000 net worth for the Sven. He almost has enough gold for a Daedalus. 600 more. Now it's 81. I'll, I'll, I'll check it again once it updates. Level 20, one for the minus 6 second Storm Hammer cooldown. 7 second cooldown on Storm Hammer is actually just absurd. Now it is 79. Where's the body? I mean, what is Raven's items? He got Manta... Lincoln's Manta, now he's going for an E-Blade. Double damage! My bad. Cat you. Go pop! Hello, on the run, they have already killed off Mushi Fonte trying to catch up. God, the stampede just doesn't feel very fast, does it? Stormhammer comes out, Fonte still on their heels, but won't be able to find anything. Raven sees Gufar cheeping in and is like, mm, maybe I don't want to be here, actually. He got Morph Target's allies. That's actually really good. Who do you turn into here, though? Have fun with your Battle Pass quests. Larry Bull. I'm pretty sure nothing to say is dead. We have Fiend's Grip. Yep. Ho! Oh! Ho! Oh! The crits! 1400 crit. Ow! So I think, I think the Morph Target's allies, I think he's going to become, uh, I think he's going to become nothing to say. Because you both get, uh, Equilibrium, uh, and the Arcane Orb, and Astral. So, like, it's a lot more, uh, lockdown. Uh, 
It's a lot more lockdown you get, and then also the int steal is going to be pretty impactful because it will make Sanity's Eclipse hurt more. Most manly of manliness. Sven is the manliest man. Okay, oh, this is big. If they can kill him off here, which they can, they do have the damage, but Blank comes in. This, uh, for staff disruption, they're kind of piling things on a little bit, but they are going to be able to get uh, Velo out of it. Now they have the control onto Blank. He doesn't have any mana. He gets him stumped. He's dead as well. Uh, <laughs> the, the best voice line from Zephyr. Talentless. As they get two massively important kills. Look at that. That's a 3,000 gold lead. They get... 5,500 experience off of those two kills. Centaur for stun. Well, remember, Centaur doesn't have the aura, right? Unless you mean to retaliate. But it's not an aura unless you have uh, MKB. Oh my god! So many more evolutions! And there they go. I'm marching in. This is what he does. They just siege with illusions all day, every day. Oh, that's actually really sick. Double disruption for, for all of these illusions to just march into the base. Actually, if they can actually, like, bottle up Typhoon into their base, how do you deal with that? With just somewhere between four and six Morphling Illusions coming in to your base and just hitting towers every, what, ten seconds? Eighteen seconds. Who have they found? Zephyr. Oh, good kill. Good kill is a good kill. Now we have a Vendetta. Vendetta Rubik. Fair enough, Eddie. It's going... Okay, Faith. Nice. Nice reveal of the E-Blade to even it out. Actually, Faith is dead. 85 seconds. Why is his death time... Oh, he bought back a long, long time ago, and that's the first time he's died since then. The illusion cheese, and we've got a minute 48 until the next Roshan is up. M is actually going for Aghanims. I think people have actually realized that Aghanims is actually a pretty good item on Storm Spirit. Bitty bits. Tome of Knowledge dropped here. Who's going to... I'm not sure who they gave that to. Oh, they gave it to Centaur. He got level 20, so plus 20 strength. Okay, jump in. They have the stun onto Velo. He's pretty tanky, though, the disruption is going to be there. They popped the BKB on nothing to say, and now they have the Stampede trying to get away. They will be able to grab onto him. Primal Split comes out. Zephyr trying to buy space for his Centaur War Runner to get out of here, but is it going to be enough? They are going to be- Oh my god, the Xanadis Eclipse just eliminates Sven from the game. He may be big, he may be beefy, but he ain't very smart. So the amount of damage he took from that is just massive. Now, Cat, you get stunned by the Storm Hammer. Another kill going the way of Geek Fam. They have the disruption up here on Guevara as well. He's got nothing left in the tank. The Astral Imprisonment from nothing to say means that Guevara gets eliminated by the Adaptive Strike, and it's a three for nothing. All of the save in the world on Geek Fam. Keeping Velo alive.
Look at all of these illusions. Jesus Christ, all of the illusions. Shiroshan number two is going to be going the way of Geek Fam. I want to see how much did that Sanity's Eclipse do? 889 damage from Sanity's Eclipse. Holy balls. Yeah, Mushi is like... Mushi is really holding this game together. Mushi is uh, the Shadow Demon. His disruptions on point. Now he's got a glimmer cape as well for more save. Yeah, OD and SD are two very different characters. Moonshine for who? Sven. I don't like. I mean, 140 attack speed. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be. Oh, that's gonna hurt. They should be okay, though. We got gem on the Centaur War Runner as well. Now there's smoke. Oh no. Fonte. Fonte, they're coming for you. He smells something. Oh my god! Zephyr almost got like there. They do find faith. But they get the big one out of there. This is, for the first time in this game, it is now a gold and experience lead for Geek Fam. The hat impale was so close to hitting. That was ridiculous. But yeah, uh, now they can just do this though, right? The eternal, the eternal, uh, morph. One illusion, four illusions, and it, what, what you gonna do to them? They can just kill them, right? But like, what's gonna stop you from just constantly doing this? And now Raven, actually seeing that zip forward, knows that uh, Storm Spirit's not gonna have mana for a little bit, opens up the time for him to take out that tier three tower. I mean, Storm, he's almost got his Aghanims. That, and it is big. The Electric Vortex is 3.1 in a massive radius. Where's the body? Satanic instead of Moonshard. Yeah, I don't like the Moonshard. He was attacking fast enough. With the Echo Saber, I agree. I think if he had, like, Satanic, he's going for a Butterfly. And he just dies. But he dies to Sanity's Eclipse, right? There's no really tanking up against that. When you only have 56 Intelligence versus the 153 of the OD... Nice nightmare there, keeping Velo from getting that hoof stomp off. They killed off Faith, nothing to say, is dropping very low, he has to eat the cheese. They have the Vortex onto Zephyr, but there's the Spiked Carapace, stunning them up. Now they're just going to turn around, they're going to kill these Brulians, Faith, he buys himself a little bit of time. But there's the BKB from Raven, able to use the Adaptive Strike to finish off that Bane, and now Guvara. He's going to have to get back into the base, they are chasing this forward, they're going for Fonte. He gets one last Storm Hammer off. The defensive Astral Raven is going to be- Oh wait, that was an adaptive strike from Raven. Gets the kill onto Fonte. They finish off Cat U as well. Buybacks coming out from Fonte and Cat U. Raven, he's out of mana. He can't regen thanks to that spirit vessel. But he is going to be able to get away from that. 
Zip forward. They find him. If they can get this kill, it's going to be big, but the Sanity's Eclipse comes through. Blank is out of mana. He's just going to be continuously chain stunned over and over and over. Raven, beyond God, like they were able to finish off nothing to say. Now, can they finish off anybody more? Fonte on the run. He's got Blink in three. But he is going to be hit by these shadow poisons. He's just going for the TP. Realizes, hey, that's not going to work. Going to keep running, but the double blink forward. And that's a lot of damage. 125 seconds. That's a dieback. Well, he did get a kill, but... An absolute disaster of a fight for Typhoon. Kuvaru got a divine. You are right. I did not notice that. Oh my god. I mean, if, if, he, if he gets the crits, right? He needs level 25. The 175 crit? Oh my god, those would have hurt. But they've got to be so careful. Like, he can't really risk this. If he dies, it's over. They have 10 seconds until Blink is back alive, and I think that's going to be it. That's going to be their one last hurrah, is with the Storm Spirit. They cannot buy the space they need. Jump forward, gets the BKB, almost crits out Mushi, but there's the AoE. They get the crits onto nothing to say. The Divine Rabier is doing it, and now he's going to turn around. They're going to find Mushi. They're going to be able to chase him down with these Brulings, but Raven has finished off Faith. Mushi, Glimmer K, find himself a little bit of time. The Glimmer K on the Cat U, it's not going to do much versus this gem. They get the impale, but there's electric vortex already there. Blink, he's very low. Guevara is going to reform now. He's got the crits. It's him versus the world, but he's going to be stunned. He's going to be dead. And that's a divine on the ground. Mushi, pick it up. I want your network to spike, Mushi. But there's the GG. Geek fam have done it. They've taken the series 2-0.